hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about convolution theorem in your fourier transform this is one of the important topic in your mathematical physics you can see regularly this question asking in your bsc exam around 3 to 4 marks sometimes also 6 marks also asking in your exam har bar ye aata rehta hai theek hai always it is important so or we can say the fourier transform of convolution of two functions fx gx so the statement is that fourier transform of the convolution of fx and gx two functions fx and gx f function of x g also function of x is the product of their fourier transforms that means mathematical we can write fourier transform of convolution of two functions fx and gx this symbol is nothing but your convolution okay convolution convolution of these two functions will be equal to fourier transform of this function fx into fourier transform of gx or we can write capital f omega into g omega because we know that if we have a function suppose fx then fourier transform if i am going to apply over this it will be written as 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity fx e to the power i omega x into dx and this is in short written as capital f omega likewise instead of fx suppose ft will be there then it will be written as 1 by 2 pi fourier transform if it will be applied over this Minus infinity to plus infinity f t into e to the power i omega t into d t d t so t t t x x x these things we know okay so before we have to start to prove this theorem let first uh, we have to know what is convolution between two functions that is your f x and g x which is most important okay so the convolution of two functions fx and gx is defined as fx convoluted with gx will be equal to here you can uh, you can consider that convolution means coupled together fx and gx coupled to, together will be equal to this much that will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity f u this is u okay this is u f u into g x minus u into du this is the uh, mathematical form of convolution between the two functions okay so this proof that means convolution between the two functions will be this much the proof you can found in your mathematics honors uh, syllabus so here we just considered the expression so here this convolution between the two functions will be equal to uh, 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity plus infinity f another new variable u will be enter into g x minus u into d u okay here the property of the convolution between between two functions uh, is this one f x convoluted with g x will be equal to g x convoluted with f x how it is here you can see uh, now for this if we are going to consider x minus u will be equal to y then u will be equal to x minus y du will be equal to minus dy right so now we are going to check the limit here if i am going to put u equal to minus infinity so that implies y will be equal to infinite if i am going to put u equal to infinite over here then y will be equal to minus infinite okay so x is a variable x minus infinite will be obviously y will be minus infinite now we are going to be uh, put instead of x minus y x minus u equal to y and for u equal to x minus y and for du equal to minus dy for this integral so therefore fx convoluted with gx that means this one will be equal to 1 by 2 pi root over here uh, limit is your minus infinity to plus infinity so this 
for minus infinity it will be infinity and for plus it will be minus so plus infinity to minus infinity f of here you can see instead of u we have to put x minus y x minus y and instead of x minus u we have to put g y x minus y will be y okay x minus u will be y g y into minus d y so as it is minus so obviously the integration limit will be changed that means it will alter so minus infinity to plus infinity uh, g y f of x minus y into dy right now you just compare this expression and this expression you can found that instead of u here y is there x x is there and instead of u here y is there dy so here f u g x minus u du is written as f x convoluted convoluted with g x but here it is written that g y f of x minus y dy so obviously this will be written as g x convoluted with f x right okay only here f changes to g here g changes to f and here u y is your uh, a new variable here u is your new variable so this expression will be written as g x into f x okay so that implies convolution between f x and g x that means f x convoluted with g x will be equal to g x convoluted with f x this is the one of the property of the convolution between two functions okay now we are going to start to prove this one okay so here i am going to suggest one thing that this much part this much from this to this is the extra thing for this theorem you have to write in your note but in your exam you should not write this much okay because this is the common thing that uh, somebody has to be know that convolution between the two function will be written in this form right okay so now we are going to start to prove the theorem this one okay fourier transform applied over convolution between the two function will be equal to fourier transform of fx into fourier transform of gx that we are going to be prove so we have to start to prove okay so this one left hand side of this mathematical expression is this one that we have to write fourier transform of fx convoluted with gx will be equal to 1 by sorry we can write in this form that fourier transform of we know that convolution between the two functions will be this much so fourier transform of this much we have to write 1 by 2 pi root over integration of minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g x minus u d x minus u into d u close the bracket right so here that implies fourier transform of convolution between the two functions will be equal to this is our whole total function i can say so this will be written as as i told that fourier transform of any function will be 1 by 2 pi 2 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity that function into e to the i omega x dx similar fashion we have to write 1 by 2 pi root over okay minus infinity to plus infinity this function we have to write 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity f of u into g of x minus u into du into e to the power i omega x into dx right close the bracket into dx that's it that's it okay 1 by 2 pi okay 
सो दैट इम्प्लाइज फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ एक्स कॉन्वल्वेटेड विथ जी एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू विल बी इक्वल टू हि आई कैन राइट वन बाय टू बाय रूट ओवर ओके माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव हियर एफ यू इज दैर ओके इन टू डी यू वन इंटीग्रल आई सेपरेटेड देन अनादर इंटीग्रल इज योर वन बाय टू बाय रूट ओवर माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव ओके दिस वन जी ऑफ एक्स माइनस यू इन टू ई टू दि पावर आई ओमेगा एक्स इन टू डी एक्स हियर आई रिटर्न सेपरेटली द टू इंटीग्रल्स हियर वन बाय टू पाए वन बाय टू पाए माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव एफ ऑफ यू डी यू एंड अनादर इंटीग्रल इज योर वन बाय टू पाए रूट ऑफर माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव जी एक्स माइनस यू इन टू ई टू द आई ओमेगा एक्स डी एक्स ओके नाउ हियर आई एम गोइंग टू here i am going to multiply the two terms for in this integral e to the power i minus i omega u into e to the power i omega u u okay so here my e to the power minus i omega u into e to the my i omega u is nothing but one that this two terms i am going to multiply over here for further simplification okay now we are going to move for the next page okay okay so that implies that implies that implies fourier transform of convolution between two functions will be equal to here this one this term as usual i am going to write वन बाय टू पाए रूट ओवर माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव एफ यु इंटू डी यू कीप इट आ सच इंटू वन बाय टू पाए रूट ओवर माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव माइनस इन्फिनेटिव टू प्लस इन्फिनेटिव हियर जी एक्स माइनस यू इज दैर जस्ट राइट जी एक्स माइनस यू इंटू हियर इट इज ई टू दि पार आई ओमेगा एक्स इज दैर e to the power i omega x is there you just write and another two terms you have to write instead of one e to the power i omega u into e to the power minus i omega u into e to the power i omega u e to the power minus i omega u into e to the power i omega u okay i omega u into dx is there you have to write dx okay dx okay close the bar bracket so that implies four year transform of convolution of two functions fx gx will be equal to will be equal to here you can see 1 by 2 pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity keep as such f of u here you can see that e to the power i omega u one term taken outside and multiplied with this term because here you can see the integration with respect to x so e to the power i omega u here is a constant taken outside of this integral and multiplied with f of u e to the power i omega u into du okay then Rest of the terms we have to write one by two pi root over minus infinity to plus infinity g of x minus u into here you can see e to the power i omega x into e to the power minus i omega x. If I will take i omega outside e to the power i omega, then this will be x minus u into d x. Okay, okay. So that implies Fourier transform. of convolution of two functions see this is nothing but convolution of two functions okay so here you can see f of u e to the power i omega u du so this will be written as as small f is there i will be written as 
कैपिटल एफ ओमेगा बिकॉज आज आई टोल्ड इनिशियली दैट एनी फंक्शन फॉर योर ट्रांसफॉर्म इज नथिंग बट इफ एक्स 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 विल बी देर सो हियर यू 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 इज देर सो इट विल बी एफ ऑफ ओमेगा इन टू हियर यू कैन सी जी ऑफ एक्स माइनस यू ई टू दी पावर आई ओमेगा एक्स माइनस यू इन टू डी एक्स दैट मीन्स दिस फॉर दि इन दिस इंटीग्रल वी कैन सी दैट फॉर योर ट्रांसफॉर्म अप्लाइड ओवर एक्स ओके सो हियर हियर इंटीग्रेशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स मीन्स टी इज योर कॉन्स्टैंट टी इज योर कॉन्स्टैंट सो फॉर योर ट्रांसफॉर्म अप्लाइड ओवर एक्स ओबियसली सो दिस विल बी रिटर्न एज जी ऑफ कैपिटल कैपिटल जी ऑफ ओमेगा ओमेगा मीन्स स्मॉल डब्ल्यू यू हॉट राइट ओके सो दैट इम्प्लाइज सो हियर वी प्रूव दिस वन राइट हियर दिस मच वी uh we we have to prove for your transform of convolution of the two functions should be uh, for your transform for for your transform of of fx into for your transform of gx that means f of omega into g omega whatever we proved here okay see here one thing also you can see that if i am going to write this integral first and this integral second then also for your transform of convolution between the two functions will be equal to capital g omega into capital f omega okay proved so this is one of the most important uh, theorem that you have to uh, practice it for your exam and again i am going to be recall you that for your exam no need to write this much this much this is only for your note okay because uh, the convolution between the two functions we know this one okay or you can write here so uh, you start from here and you just write this sentence and here you can write we know we know that we know that fx convoluted with gx will be equal to this much value 1 by 2 pi root over integration of minus infinity plus infinity f u into g of x minus u du here you can write itself okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you